Hello and welcome to Lesson Scylla. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use TeamViewer to access a remote computer anywhere in the world without having another person present on the other end. In other words, I'm going to show you how to use TeamViewer unattended access. So to begin with this tutorial, let's go ahead and download TeamViewer. So I've opened up Firefox. Open up any browser that you're using and first let's download TeamViewer. So I'm going to go to www.teamviewer.com and click download for free. This will download the setup file for TeamViewer onto your computer. Now I should have the file downloaded already. Uh, let me just go to my downloads folder. There we go. So I've got the setup file downloaded. I'm going to double click on it. And we're going to go through the default installation steps. So by default, you will see default installation selected. Leave that as it is and click accept next. When you get the user access control prompt, select yes. And this should install TeamViewer on your machine. Now, just to remind you, this is TeamViewer free version. So um, you can use the free version for your personal use um, without any limitations. TeamViewer has been installed successfully. I need to accept the EULA. Click continue. And after a couple of seconds, this should say ready. All right, so that's it. We have successfully installed TeamViewer on our remote computer. Now we need to enable unattended access. So what we're basically going to do is we're going to tick these two checkboxes. So the first checkbox, what it's going to do is it's going to run TeamViewer as a service. So even um, if you're not logged into the remote computer, if no one's logged into the remote computer and you still want to remotely access it and check its settings or do anything on it, you're still able to do it with the help of this, because when you enable this, TeamViewer will basically run as a service. So I'm going to enable that. And also I'm going to enable Grant Easy Access. What this is going to do is this is going to assign this device or authorize this TeamViewer account to remotely connect to this um, computer without using its ID and password. Okay, now I do have a TeamViewer free account uh, set up. It's very easy to set up. I'll quickly show you where you can set it up. You can click on this sign in button up here and click on sign up. Um, just fill out all the information and click next and within a matter of minutes you will have a free TeamViewer account. So let me just get back to what we were doing before. So we are going to enable grant easy access checkbox now. Um, and now I'm going to enter my TeamViewer account details. Okay, so I've entered the information here. I'm going to click Assign. All right, so once easy access has been granted, you will see this um, message. Um, the desktop or the laptop computer uh, that you're seeing here, this device in here is my computer that I've got this TeamViewer account running from. Um, and over here it says easy access granted. So that means we're good to go. Sometimes TeamViewer sends you, um, I think when you're doing this for the first time, it will most likely send you an email uh, to the registered email address in your account uh, to authorize this action. Um, but in this tutorial, it did not come up because I've done this a couple of times. Um, and TeamViewer knows that 
this device is an authorized device but if you're doing this for the very first time with a remote computer you will get a verification email um, to your mailbox uh, to the registered email address and just log into your email and authorize or and click trust uh, that will basically um, take you through the process so make sure once you um, enable uh, start team viewer with windows and easy access uh, is enable these tick boxes are showing it's ticked and over here it should say easy access granted so that's all you have to do on the remote computer now i'm going to show you what you have to do to connect to the remote computer uh, without having anybody present on the other end. So I've got TeamViewer on my computer um, and as you can see um, uh, the computer that we were just on before my test machine is currently showing here. Uh, this is uh, the computer that we just enabled remote um, unattended remote access. Um, if you want to look at all the devices that are um, there for you to remotely connect it will show up under computers and contacts um, so basically select the device that you want to connect remotely and come in here and select remote control using password now even though it says remote control using password it's not going to prompt you to do anything it will basically straight away uh, take you to the remote computer so let's click this and in here you will see it's trying to connect now it's authenticating and there we go we connected the remote computer successfully without having another person available on the other end or without another person having to approve your remote connection